oyster soup. And let me tell you what, back in the old days, this is the way it was. Here we go, here's my ingredients. I've got a half a cup of onions, chopped. I got a little over a quarter of a bell pepper chopped. Two stalks of celery chopped. I'll be using a quarter cup of butter. I got a quart of milk. Cup of oysters. I guess there's maybe ten oysters in there. They're pretty good size too. You know, I have to keep old no half time John awake. <laughs> I'll be using some garlic powder, some cayenne powder, and a little salt, parsley, celery leaves, and green onions. Let me tell you about the milk. I'm gonna, this is a quart. I'm gonna start bringing it almost to a boil. Not a boil. Almost to a boil, then I'm gonna shut it down. This is one of my last additives to it. One of my last ingredients I'm going to put in there. Anyway, we're getting ready to start this right now. Follow me along. You're going to really enjoy this. And once you make this oyster soup, once you make it my way, there is no other way.
this I know is going to be excellent. And you just have to take my word, I'm not even going to use a spoon for this. This is excellent oyster soup. Holy moly, let me tell you what. This should be, uh, I don't know, I should be on the side of the bayou right now. I should be on the side of the bay right now eating this. Because I tell you what, this is just awesome, awesome. Holy God, you can taste the oysters. The oyster juice just took into that. The oysters are all over and they can taste the flavor. And cell relief, until you've cooked with cell relief, use it at, like I just did, like I just did, you don't know what a taste is. Talk to y'all later. Aye, oh yeah.